buying a camper van can represent a serious investment and we've teamed up with Auto Campers to give you a handy buyer's guide on the key elements you should look for when buying a camper van. The first point to make is to pick something that's optimised for your lifestyle. There's all sorts of different variations of vehicles available and it's important to get one that matches your hobbies, whether you're going to use it as a daily driver, that kind of thing. So let's have a look at some of the key attributes that you get with an auto campus. It's important to note that a typical car parking bay is 4.8 metres long. And with this in mind, auto campers mainly build a 4.9 metre short wheel base uh, Ford Transit Customs or VW Transporters. What are the advantages? Well, short wheelbase, obviously easier to uh, park into a typical 4.9 metre long parking bay. The long wheelbase might stick out 400 mil longer, not a big deal. One of the key decisions is what kind of roof to go for on your camper van. At Auto Campers, they offer three different roof styles a steel low line model, a steel high line model, they're both fixed roofs, and an elevating pop top roof. A common misconception is that a camper van will fit under a two metre height barrier. In reality, they won't. A VW Transporter camper van can be specified with lowering springs that allow it to fit under a 2 metre height barrier, but this can have an effect on your warranty. As you can see, the Ford Transit Custom pop top will slip under a 2.1 metre tall height barrier. Classic features a traditional side kitchen layout with an M1 tested rock and roll style bed and it's available in low line, pop top or high line as well as in two body lengths. So inside on this model there's much more of a traditional feel, it's got the classic side kitchen layout that runs right the way up to the back of the driver's seat. On the Classic a two burner gas hob and sink is standard but you can specify a diesel hob if you wish. This particular classic is finished with the driftwood uh, furniture option, but you do get all sorts of other options if you want something a bit more colourful and a bit more non-traditional, so lots of choice when it comes to specking up your furniture board. Optional floor rails can be fitted on the classic to allow the seat to slide forward and back to maximise luggage space when needed. The Leisure Van shares the same M1 tested rock and roll bed as the Classic but also adds a second door and a revised kitchen layout for even more flexibility. The two sliding doors mean access is excellent and give great ventilation while the kitchen design means it can be accessed both inside and outside the vehicle. Even with the cab seats swivelled round there's plenty of dining space for four and you can sit comfortably. All four seats are of course travel seats, with the rear ones being M1 tested for safety. It's offered in both short wheelbase and long wheelbase forms, with the choice of high top, pop top and low line roofs. If you want the ultimate in space, then high top, long wheelbase is where you want to go. So let's have a look at the leisure van in that form. Well, as you can see, in this high top, uh, sliding seat leisure van. It really is all about the space. There's so much room in here. I mean, I can stretch out in all directions. Roof height, just under six foot. The 400 millimeter um, extra length of the long wheelbase translates to a 400 millimeter slice of extra space. So, for example, much larger storage area. You've got the same locker down there, this one has got the loo in it. One of the key advantages of the high top is look at all this storage you get. There's a vast amount of roof storage um, all the way around the vehicle. One of the really great things about the Leisure Van is this clever uh, seat and bed system. This is the mid-mounted version you can also get it mounted on sliding rails. So you can slide it, it easily slides forwards on these rails. 
it locks in lots of different positions along the rail as well so there's lots of uh, adjustment on it or you can have it all the way back here get an absolutely vast amount of lounge space so very flexible seating option the MRV also features twin sliding doors but also adds an M1 floor system which allows it to be configured in a multitude of different ways. Like all auto campers, it's available in short wheelbase, long wheelbase and with a choice of three roof heights. One of the nice things about the MRV is when the bed's set in the lower position, you've actually got this really nice large lounge. The rear seats, the travel seats that fit on the rails, they have little skis that sit on the underside of them so you can use them as outdoor seating. So a really flexible layout, and even with your chairs outside, you've still got four good adult sized seats in here. So MRV, very, very flexible. One of the great things about the MRV, it's very much designed for inside-outside living. So you can specify this optional awning, and the inside chairs, you can put them on these little skis and uh, use them outside as really comfortable uh, outdoor seating chairs. The other nice thing is, with the outdoor kitchen, if you want to grab a cold drink, very convivial, and it's a really nice place to sit. With the bed in its highest position, there's still plenty of storage space underneath, and the rear travel seat's backrest folds down so the bed system can fit over the top. You just need to add a pole in the bracket for the dining table. An interesting option is the cab bunk system, which just fits in place over the front seats. It's great if you need an extra berth for a child. No matter what your hobbies or interests, the MRV can swallow all your touring kit, as well as the family pets. The day van uses a fully modular interior, thanks to a clever six rail M1 tested bonded floor system. One of the unique features about the day van is this modular kitchen unit. It's got quite a lot of functionality built into it, so I'll show you how it all works. Nice flip-up table. There's a little gas hob. Get our kettle out. Bit of coffee in here, and we're all good to go. So as you can see, it's quite a flexible unit, and there's a lot of thought gone into its design. The whole thing can be unbolted from the vehicle, and it just plugs in with a 12-volt um, power supply down there. The rear travel seats fold flat and can be slid into any position on the rail. You can add extra seats or you can remove them entirely and mount them on skids outside the vehicle to use them as outdoor seating. The bed itself can be set up transversely or longitudinal and it can be set at two heights when you're using it transversely. The side furniture can either be configured to have a microwave and cupboard or you can specify a taller shelf unit if you prefer. For maximum space, even the kitchen pod is fully removable. Auto campers build on the Ford Transit Custom, but if you prefer, you can also have a VW Transporter base vehicle. These start off with a 150 PS engine. Ford offer three engines for the Transit Custom, and auto campers use the middle 130 PS engine or you can also specify a high output 170 PS engine if you prefer. All of them are two litre, turbo diesel, Euro 6 compliant, and very smooth and refined. All the multimedia controls can be found on the steering wheel, and you can also specify automatic or manual gearboxes. A lot of people use their camper van as their main driver, so could this replace your daily driver? How would it, you get on living with a Transit as a uh, family car? Well, here we are in town. I've got better visibility than I would have in the majority of cars, and even in some SUVs, which aren't actually that high. The steering's nice and light round town because it's the variable electronic steering. And yeah, very easy vehicle to live with. Auto campers build on the high spec limited model. So you have all sorts of nice bells and whistles as standard. So it does feel very premium, which you know when you're spending 50,000 plus on a camper van, that's important. Um, 
overall, smooth, comfortable, easy. If you don't like driving this, then just give up. If you want to find out more about Autocamper's innovative campervan conversions, then see us online or pop in to one of our partners around the country. You can also try before you buy. We hope to see you soon.